Get the Ouija board. It's not there with the Bible on the top of the flight. Get it. I'm not asking you to be looking all alone, are you? Usually it's wingy sneed bay mashecky quay, sweet grass water medicine woman. Yeah, your friendly freaky ass medicine woman. But since it was Halloween, she let me join you today. Let's see, let's see how this goes. I'm trying to get it all set up here for nice. You can see it nicely. Right, okay. Excuse me. We just did the little therapy Thursday, so and now it's Halloween. I, see, I was going to do my nails and everything. I've got all this stuff sitting here. So, I'm just going to get right to it. Got a smudge there and waiting. Smudge ready to go. <gasps> Look at me messing around with everything. She didn't have this ready for me like this girl. She got to get her shit together, let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. Right. Poor girl, really, though. She's got so much on her plate. I can't believe how well she's doing with that all. Oh, but she wouldn't be there if she didn't have all those soul sisters and those connections that help inspire her. She told me to say a special thank you to you all. And they're the ones that inspire her. You know who they are. She tries to make it clear. She tries to show her appreciation as much as she can. Right, with no expectations, remember, when she says thank you to you, she means it. She doesn't expect nothing from you, nothing. I mean, it's beautiful. There's a purity in that soul that you don't see. You don't see very often. She don't give enough, herself enough credit for it. I don't think any of us do, because then, right? I like that one, like, the best, like, come on. Right, I'm the best pot fairy around. Dang, right, but you know, every pot fairy says that because we're all legends in our own minds. Right? <clears throat> Look at that leprechaun with his pot of gold, right? He thinks he's just stole that too. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with being proud of yourself. As long as you know that everybody else is all that too. Right? Everybody else is gorgeous and beautiful and meant to be here. Whether you like it or not, you don't have to like everybody. But you know what? It's so important that you like yourself. Nay, nay, don't like yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself the way your creator loves you. And then love others the way creator loves them too. Even us fairies are made by the same creator. Even us fairies were all made by the same creator. How does she get this to work? You know what? I'm just going to stick it in a match. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, that's how it works. Whoa. Well, that's... I just played around too much. I just put my little fire out. But you know what? The fire never is really out. You can always light it again. There's always another one to catch a spot. That's why it's so important to shine that light bright. Somebody else just gets... Little blown out. We might need a little bit of a spark to help us reignite. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got that smudge going. Oh, see, and this, this, this beautiful, beautiful woman over here. Right, oh, she's so beautiful. Right, oh, my beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's got a little cedar in here that that Miss Sweetgrass Water Medicine woman just it picked it herself. She placed down that tobacco. She, you know, asked the biggest tree, and she went to seven of them to the smaller ones. Oh yeah, showing that respect. We always give our thanks. Right. Even us fairies, we need to be thankful. We need to be thankful that we came from that creator as well. That is the truth. That is the truth. So here's the owl. Pulling back the veils because, hey, that's what this October is all about. The last day of October. What did you see? What came up for you? What did you release? And let it go. 
No, that you're always protected. It cleanses it off and keeps you protected as well. You are so protected and you are so beautiful. Mmm. Yes, yes, you are. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is so nice. Just to bathe in it, huh? You smell that cedar too? Oh, yes, that cedar is great. Oh, well, you know what? I just got to do a little sweet grass then too. And then we'll get on. Then we'll get on, we'll get on, okay? We'll get on in just a minute. Okay, just a wee minute here. Just want to take a little bit of this and we're just going to throw it on the top of it. Put it in there. Oh, you smell that. Oh, smell that. It's so nice. Sweet grass. I'll get that other sweet grass going after the show. Right? Yeah, you know, you know. Hi. Oh, yes, you smell that. I oh, get that sweet grass pot. Calls in all the positive energies. We cleanse, we release, we're protected. You now we call in all those positive energies. We have a great night, no matter how we celebrate. Mmm. Yeah, watch. That's what they say. It's a big old thank you and a jet why. I wonder if that's a couple different languages, maybe. I don't know. I don't know which lot. Is that Ojibwe that just says Miigwech? Or, or is that like the, the common thank you? I don't know. Hmm. Always something new to learn, right? Ask questions. Keep asking questions. Never stop asking questions. Look at that. That's my little green fairy man, too. Okay. <clears throat> The cards are here. I've got less space here now. That's all right. Overall, so okay. Run those through the cards through this one just over here. Mm -hmm. We did little quickie. Little quickie today. Yeah, that sweet grass water medicine woman. She has not been feeling okay. No, yes, her spirits are up, but her body's really, really doing a number on her. She can't figure out the answer soon, so. Don't you worry, and she'll be right back at it. Yes, yeah, she will. She can't leave you for too long. You know, she loves you way too much. She's learning to love herself, too. It's something we all got to do. She practice what she preach, you know. And it gets pointed out, maybe she hadn't. Been practicing as like she thought she had. So, whilst the future's rested today, girl, I'll take over for you. Right. It's nice she trusts me like she do. It's almost like I, well, I'm her, you know? <clears throat> she trusts me like, like I'm her own self. <laughs> right. <laughs> what we do with this, we grass walk. <laughs> How is this go? Oh, right, calling in the direction. Right, okay. She just is talking. We are calling all the wrong directions. And we start over in the east. Place of illumination and clarity. The place of fire. The place of man. <sighs> and we come back. Color of our energies to us from the south. That's the childhood. The place of innocence. The waters. The emotions. And then we call back all of our energies from the west. That's right, that's the place of the woman, the physical, the earth. <clears throat> and then we call back all of our energies to us from the north. That is the wisdom years. <laughs> the air, the mental. I think I might be a little bit, huh? Well, it's okay, it keeps life interesting. So, we go from childhood. We walk the red road. From the south to the north, where we gather allies and support as we get up there. Hopefully. Right. Maybe it's not our friend, family that comes with us, but friends that become our allies, our biggest allies, and we advance through life. And hopefully, we have to advance. We get advanced in our years. We get advanced in our wisdom. Hopefully. Hopefully, if you keep your ears and your eyes open, right, you listen deeper. 
than just what's being said. You see deeper than just what's being shown. You can get there. Blue Road of Spirit always does that. Blue Road of Spirit goes east to west, just as the sun. East where we give away, right? East, we give away the spirit, we join into the body. Then the West, we give away the body and go back to the spirit. And then the accents just keep a changing. That's the thing with the fairies, it's so magical. You never know what magic kind of accent might come in. I don't know. And the grosers, the birdies, right? The spiral dance, the sacred spiral dance. Above, below, and within. And there we go. Now let's say what we've got here. Well, hello, everything. Let's just see. Our story begins today. What is it on this Halloween? Spooky August. August. October 31st. Like, I can't even tell the days. Oh, look at me. Okay. There we are. Okay, so your overall energy for today is fertility. Right, if you don't want no babies, you better take precautions. Right, <laughs> right. Don't be getting too frisky tonight unless you play safe. Right. <laughs> okay, then. Also, that is the creativity. Right, this is a great day for creativity. Look, if you're putting on the costumes, <laughs> this is the day for that creativity. And to retreat, right? To retreat and not try to push. Retreat into yourself and be yourself. Right? Let your free flag fly. Hmm? That's overall today. It takes some time to go inside to retreat to find and tap into that creative energy in you. What is being birthed in you? What is being birthed through you? Right? It can't be physical babies or it could be, you know, the creativity. In retreat. Think about what you're gonna be for Halloween. What you're gonna do? You're gonna be thankful. And what's it mean to you? Because you know what? These things like Halloween, they're based off other other ceremonies. What do you know about that? What do you know about the birth of this holiday? The birth of this day altogether. This is where the veils are thinnest, right? Where in the Deus de los Muertos, in Dali Mexico, the Day of the Dead, right? This is where they can talk to their relatives. It's the closest to that. Yeah. What's that mean to you? What does this day mean to you? You celebrated, um, what were you raised in, right? Do you believe differently than you did when you were a child? No. What does it mean to you? Mm. Okay. <coughs> I'm thinking. <coughs> oh, excuse. Excuse, excuse. What do we want? We want this one. Yeah. That one. Okay. Thinking. Set internal timing. Marching to the beat of your own drum. When you're going to set yourself free. Because that's what we do. We set ourselves free. Right, we're going within and seeing that. What's that time you're drumming that gracefully? Right, it's one will gracefully bite your hands, but it's protective of its sacred space. You're protecting the sacred space, right? Are you showing yourself or do you try to hide yourself? Maybe this can highlight, right, too. Maybe it's a time we get to be something that we know is inside if we're afraid to be any other time, but maybe it's a time we're really trying to hide, too, right? To be something other than ourselves. Because we don't want to be ourselves. So we can't wait for this day when we can dress up and pretend to be something else. But you're never going to be happy until you're happy being yourself. Marching to the beat of your own drum. Right? That internal rhythm. You know, doing that purpose that you were created for. You know, you're giving all that you need to fulfill that purpose that you were sent here for. We all have one. Right? And it comes with grace and ease. We might all feel like those little ugly ducklings. But that time, right? Are we trying to fit in with the ducks when we're a beautiful swan? No wonder we're an ugly duckling because we're not a duckling. We're supposed to be a swan. We are beautiful swans. What is that for you? Okay? Is this a time to hide or to let your true true light shine? Right? Do you, do you hide on this day or shine on this day? Right? Does it scare you? Are you afraid of going out 
There's lots of scary stuff that goes on out there too, right? So is this a time of year that scares you, excites you? What's it all mean to you? This is what it's all about. It all begins with it. And then that action today. She's almost as good as Sata. It's weak where it's water. Man's a woman, eh? Yeah, right. That's how we start, right? Pump yourself up, eh? It's okay. You're serious, right? My guide's coming through now. That action to take today. Is that expansion? And telling your stories, right? Do you make a character and make a story up to go with your character? How, how do you do that? What is your stories? As we share those, we create that expansion for ourselves and others, right? Because we kind of, um, sometimes we can get hooked in our stories and they keep dragging us down. But sometimes when as we keep telling them, we diffuse them, right? It doesn't create that emotional response anymore. It becomes just a story. It becomes just part of our story, part of who we are, right? So that's an action today. Today, how, how are you expanding in that? What messages have you received from your story? Right? What messages do you receive from listening to other stories and how that could affect you in your life? Right? We've got oh, 39, 14, 47, 39, 32, 2, and 29. Whoa! Well, Commerce T for why? I don't know. What are we thinking? Does it seem like a uh, that sweet grass stretches out so much as this pot fairy does. <laughs> that's the, so, right, that's our action. We're going to reflect on the timing and look at what beautiful, graceful swans we are and tell our stories to create that expansion, to share that expansion and see the messages in our stories. And what are the messages we've picked up from other stories because they're similar to ours, but they're not our stories. We're the only ones living our lives, right? So what is up for you? Okay, so that is great. That's our messages today. Oh, I did it! Oh, 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 I hope that sweet grass is proud of me. Yeah, just smoke her a big thigh before we sit down and watch it. <laughs> right, craziness. Look at the potential. The original source, we're all part of it. Tap into it. The veil's up in us. Look, and that looks like the veil being pulled back, doesn't it? The veil's up in us today. Right, does that scare you? Does that make you want to draw in? Does that make you want to go out and expand and explore it all? Oh, there's so much to explore, right? And do it with impeccable integrity, right? That original source. Some are out there trying to freak the little ones out. And some is fun in some ways and some is not, okay? So be aware and use your integrity, okay? This is not the time to... Go out and hurt others, right? Because you want to have some fun, and it's fun to you. So be aware of that how sometimes our fun can hurt somebody else. So, right, have fun, right? Unlimited potential of the fun that we can have. But are we using our integrity? Are we making sure that we're not intentionally hurting anybody? I mean, there's always going to be those some that might take it personally, get upset, and because they're not doing it for themselves. They try to bring you down because they're not doing it for themselves. So don't be one of those people, okay? Set yourself free. Be as free as a fairy. Go explore. Be playful as a fairy. Right? Be mischievous, but no hurting anyone, okay? No hurting anyone. Be aware. Use your integrity. But go set yourself free. Yes. So beautiful. Have a wonderful, wonderful Halloween. -y. Okay, can will those stay up there? You can't even see really, can you? 51 and 37 is the numbers there. 39, 32, 29, 2, 47, 14. Anybody likes to play those numbers? It's a lucky fairy day. I read so fun to be a weirdo, let me tell you, never a dull moment, right, yeah, right, the source, great mystery, they love it, right, entertain them, it's beautiful, okay, 
<laughs> entertain yourself and you take care you beautiful beings and thank you for being you and shining your light through everything you do right this world needs you oh my goodness us fairy folk yeah we're here to help you too yeah we're obvious right so when you see that rainbow you get the peace we get the love Think of the beautiful colours of this world and how all of us beings make a beautiful rainbow on this earth. Right? We're all part of a beautiful rainbow. Oh, believe, 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 believe. <laughs> Biggest hot hog ever. Oh, I forgot that. Oh, and here's some Halloween light to protect you tonight. Love you. All right. Okay. Uh, that that freaky ass medicine I'm almost like I could do the daily guidance today. So I'm just going to take off this room. I'm going to put on her a little. The medicine woman. Rope, you know, excuse me. Okay, oh, this thing. <laughs> Look at that fancy, schmancy thing she got there. Beautiful. Happy Halloween! Eh? Come to the daily guide, it's, it's me, the green fairy. Nice to see you stepping in for. I'm, I'm here today. Taking over for that sweet grass water medicine woman. Ooh. There we go. I think that looks right on me. Isn't that wonderful? Okay. Put that chair there. How do we do this now?